Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shamira Benson, one part of Team Benson, and we have a ton of peppers that need to come off of the plants so that the plants can start flowering again. So let's go harvest some. All right guys, so it's time to get a couple things out of the garden, but before I do that, I would like to say a big welcome to all of our new subscribers. It is a pleasure having you guys here, and thank you for everybody that has been subscribed and has continued to uh, support my channel. I appreciate you guys more than you know. The channel is growing a lot, and I'm super, super excited about it. And we do have a giveaway that I haven't mentioned in a while. Once we hit 15,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a Vego Garden mug. So if you guys haven't seen my Vego Garden beds and the mugs, I will attach a video down below of when I um, started it. So I'm excited. That is, it's a lot of growth to my channel and I really, really appreciate you guys just really supporting my ideas and what I have going and my goals in helping you guys be able to plant garden food in deserts and grow food in deserts. So I appreciate that. So here's what's on the list for today. I have a lot of peppers that need to come out because my peppers need to start flowering again. So I am going to pull out all of my peppers that are done right now, um, mainly my spicy peppers and my shishito peppers. And then I'm also going to pick up some radishes because my radishes need to come out and I wanna roast those for dinner tonight. So we are going to have some shishito peppers for either dinner tonight or tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to harvest a bunch of them off this plant. And I'm going to check these ones. Yep, I think this one's producing. So this one too. And I'm also going to take them off of this one. But these ones are hotter, so I'm going to use these as a spice. So this plant is so happy now that I've lessened its load. As you can see, it's perked back up. I took all the ones that were um, ready and the ones that were almost ready, and we're just gonna let it flower back out. It had stopped flowering because it had so many shishitos on her. But we took off all these. These are going to be for dinner. And now I have a little basket to take off these because these are so hot, we're not gonna eat these for dinner. But I am gonna dry these and make a powder um, seasoning with them. Okay, so there was a lot of these, like that's a whole little half a basket full. Now my plan for these are to roast them and then to um, dehydrate them and then make it into a seasoning powder. So just kind of like maybe mix with like salt or like garlic and make it like a spicy garlic salt. So that's going to be the plan for them. I have a lot of peppers I need to roast. <laughs> Now the other thing on my list today is um, jalapenos. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pull all of these jalapenos. We want the plant to get its strength back so that then it can start flowering again because as you can see, there are no flowers on my jalapeno plant like there are on this mystery, which I think is a serrano plant. So we're gonna go ahead and grab all of these jalapenos off of here. So guys, this year I grew a lot of spicy peppers because I wanted to start to get my um, seasoning cabinet back to where it needs to be. <laughs> and it was missing a lot of spice and flavor. Um, we use a lot of jalapenos, um, spicy peppers, like chilies and different things like that when it comes to cooking. So I wanted to get that back up. So my goal is to fill the spice cabinet with all of the spiciness and then grow some sweet peppers next year. That'll be a good switch and we don't have any bell peppers because they're almost done with our, our freezer stash. So we're going to need some of those next year. And then look at here guys, we have our first cayenne pepper all ready. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And there we have it. We have our shishito peppers, our chili peppers, and our serrano pep, not serrano, our cayenne pepper, and then also some jalapenos. Okay, so just randomly with the pepper harvest, we're going to pull out these radishes because it is time for these radishes to come out, mainly because we wanted some roasted radishes for dinner, and then also 
this tomato plant needs more space. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab all of these little baby radishes out of here. I hate the moment you touch a tomato plant, you smell like tomatoes and you itch. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and just add this little bunch of radishes. We have a couple of radishes that we had pulled um, a couple weeks ago in the house already. So we're just gonna add that to them. That should be enough for just a little side of roasted radishes. Um, radishes are really good for like kidneys and stuff like that. So every now and then we like to just have some roasted radishes just to clean out our kidneys. Okay, so now we have everything super excited. We're gonna go in the house and start processing some of this. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little video today of what I was harvesting out of my garden. And I hope you're making the most out of your garden too, guys. Don't just think of things in when you're planting as like, okay, I'm gonna make a salad or I'm going to make like a pot of greens. Think of it as the whole kit and caboodle, you know? Like, okay, what can we use for herbs? What can we use for medicine? What can we use for spices? All those different things you wanna be able to have in your garden. And you can do all that in a small space. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing and staying with my channel and watching me grow. But until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.